World Health Organization power grab. The WHO is about ready to take a vote. Yeah. And it's going to strip America of all its sovereignty. On May 22nd through the 28th, the new amendment to the WHO's international health regulations will be delivered for a vote. These amendments will empower WHO's director general to declare health emergencies in any nation and to do so unilaterally and against the opposition of the target nation. They can choose what they consider an emergency. Yeah. I mean, they can make up anything they want. America's got this uh, pandemic of some sort, right? Oh, yeah. We're sending our UN troops. Can you imagine a force coming in and, and kind of just taking over? Each country has six months' right of rejection. We have the ability to say yay or nay. The argument to that is who's going to reject it? Exactly. Biden? Yeah. Mm -mm. And after six months, do they go, like, too late? They can do this, but when push comes to shove and they actually have to enact it, most countries are not going to be okay with that. Exactly. And this is going to lead to civil unrest in the streets of Babylon, the great America, and throughout the whole world. And it's also going to lead to World War III. Because what they're really up to, man, these devils, all right, from, you know, who, all right, they want to take away the Americans' freedom, man. And we warned you that your rights and your freedoms are about to be taken away from, man, okay? This is what it's all about. This global reset, this NWO, the New World Order, man, okay? All right, so first and foremost, before I get started with this quick lesson, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory that is due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who will well, peace, blessings, and citations goes to the whole for let that scattered abroad. All right, to the Yahweh, the feast says, instead of listening, learn to you brothers out there, pushing and struggle with our righteousness and sincerity. To you, I say, Sean Wong, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. But we're to edify and defeat the lamps and Yah Bashim Yosha. I pray this lesson be edifying and straight to the point. Okay? So all these things that are going on, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, including here in Babylon the Great America. These hey, these Americans don't realize that your rights, your freedoms are about to be taken away from. Alright? And when they implement this MOTB, <laughs> you're not gonna have no say. You're gonna be forced to take it, like it tells you in the Revelations thirteen and sixteen, man. Okay? This is what it's all about, okay? This is why these devils are voting on taking away your rights, man. All right? So, hey, Jacob's trouble is, is coming. And like the title said right here, Jacob's trouble is coming. Final warning. And we're on, hey, and we're itching close and close, man. All right? Everything's about to be taken away. Your freedom, just freedom of speech, freedom of religion, all that stuff, man. Okay? They're going to take away your guns. And hey, these Americans, man, these average Joe Edomites, they're not going to go for this shit, man. Okay? These people are not going to go for this stuff here that's going on in Babylon, the great America. Somebody coming in and telling them what they can and cannot do. Hey, <laughs> it's about to be fighting in these streets real soon, man. Okay? It's going to be an all-out purge out here. So without further ado, let's get into the scriptures, man. All right? So, hey, we warned you. All right? You've been warned. By the prophets, man, the men of the Lord. Okay, let's get this scripture first. All right, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. And it reads, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that write grievousness which they have prescribed. These are unrighteous decrees, unrighteous laws. More draconian measures are coming, man. Okay, so hey, all you people out there that, you know, just because they done, you know, um, released of the... You know, some of the restrictions, them restrictions are coming back, and they're going to come back even harsher, okay? They're going to come back even harsher, and hey, if you don't comply, you could be put into these one of these concentration camps and FEMA camps, man, okay? Hey, those are coming, all right? This is what's coming to Babylon, the great America, man, all right? Where you could be put into these concentration and FEMA camps, but not complying. They can lock you up, all right? So, hey... This is where we headed to, okay? All right? Let's see. But hey, the average American is not going to go for this, man. And this is the times we're entering into. This is Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. So you Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, you better wake up, man, and realize the times that we're in. Jeremiah 30 and 7, the last for that day is great, so that none is like it. 
it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it. Only the elect are going to be saved out of these times that we're coming into Jacob's trouble. Okay, let's go to Matthew. <clears throat> Matthew 24 and verse 21. Let's straight to the point. For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor nor ever shall be. And as that those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. Only the elect is going to be saved in these days, man. Okay? Then days are being shortened for the elect's sake. Okay? So, <laughs> hey, the Lord Yahweh Yosha, he's shortening the days. So we are almost out of here, man. The cherries are appearing. All right? These cherries are coming, man. Hey, don't freak out, man. Rejoice, man. Okay? Because, hey, our salvation is near. We are almost out of this bitch, man. But we got to go through that trial by fire, man. All right? As a matter of fact, let's get that. Okay? Let's go to Revelations 2 and 10. Because, hey, the elect, we're going to have to go through that trial by fire. But, hey, if we be put to death, man, we, hey, some of us men in the Lord are going to be put to death. For, you know, standing up for righteousness and rejecting this devil system, man. And rejecting the MOT to the B. Okay. And some of us going to be put to death. Some of us are going to get endowed with spiritual powers man. To overcome these devils man. This is Revelations 2 and 10. It reads. For none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Okay. Like I said man. These Edomites. Alright. Them concentration and FEMA camps. They're ready up and ready to go. Okay. Alright. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. All right? Be faithful unto death. Strive for this truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Okay? So, hey. And this is another example, but these devils coming down with great wrath because they know they got a short time. These devils know that their time is almost up, so they got to hurry up and speed this NWO up. Okay? This is Revelations chapter 12 and verse uh, 12 and 12. Rejoice, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Alright, these devils know that they have a short time. Alright, so hey, they got to hurry up and they got to speed up this NWO. But, hey. The Lord going to make moves too. Just like these devils, they're making moves. Y'all about to y'all shot. He's about to make moves as well, man. Okay? These devils are about to come in like a flood, man. And hey, the standard's about going to be lifted up real soon, man. Okay? This is Isaiah 59 and verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord. Y'all about to y'all shot from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, shall lift up a standard against him. So these devils start putting their hands on the Lord's elect, man. The Lord shows a, a standard's going to be lifted up, man. Okay? And hey, <laughs> man, hey, once you start putting your hands on the Lord's elect, man, it's over with. That's game on. Okay, hey, these devils are making moves, so is the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, is making moves, man. Okay? And y'all, you show and I'm quite sure some of you saw that video last week or not. Yeah, getting tongue twisted. Sorry about that. All right, you saw that video last night, what I did with uh those chariots coming in and disappearing and reappearing out, man. They were just flying around, appearing and disappearing. Hey, man, the chariots are here, man. They're on their way. They're here, okay? And hey, wait till that father ship gets here, man. We get how shot on it. Hey, that's game on right there, man. It's over for these devils. And they know it. They know that, hey, and that's why they, and that's why they cut the live feed on a NASA video with showing these chariots, man. Especially with the fathership chariot, man. That's why they cut the NASA feed, man. Right? The NASA live feed. So these devils, they got to really hurry up and speed things up. But they don't realize it's your how about some y'all shy is causing them and allowing them to speed things up, so he can show him. So Yahabashim Yahshai can show them that, hey, he's all powerful. They're going to find out they're nothing but men. These devils want to be like God, man. Esau, even so-called white man. But they're going to find out <laughs> they ain't nothing but men. And all the shit that they're trying to do, it's all going to come to naught. It's going to fail. They already lost, man. So, hey, like we tell you, damn devils, man, bring it on. Do what you got to do. Let's go. All right, let's go, man. Bring it on. We ready. 
Let's go. <laughs> All right. This is Luke chapter 18 and verse 7. And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear along with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Yahweh Shai is not going to wait, man. Yahweh Shai is going to come. He's going to come quickly. All right. He's going to be given the order from his father, Yahweh, to come back and, hey, kick some ass, man. And he's going to also use his ground force with the men of the Lord, man. Are going to get endowed with those spiritual powers to, hey, <laughs> to wreak havoc on this place, man. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on the earth? All right. So, hey, you devils, man, you know your time is short. And, hey, do what you got to do, man. All right. This is uh, Psalms 94, verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? And that's what these devils are doing, framing laws, unrighteous laws, through mischief, man, all right, causing their wicked counsel to prosper, but then counsel is going to come to naught, man, let's go to Psalms 140 and verse, mm, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm going to start at verse 1, Psalms 140 and verse 1, to the chief musician, a psalm of David, deliver me, O Lord, Yahweh, Yahshua, from the evil man, preserve me from the violent man, and these devils of violence, man, all right, evil, wicked, okay, verse 2, which imagine mischiefs in their hearts, which means their minds, continually are they gathered together for war, and that's what these devils want, they want to make war, and who are they really coming after, the Israelites, man, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, all right, that's who they really want, they want the Lord's chosen, and that's who they really want, the Lord's chosen, they want to really wipe out the Israelites, man, they're trying to get that blessing back through carnal means but it's not gonna work okay verse three they have sharpened their tongues like a serpent adders poison is under their lips and law keep me oh lord yahweh from the hand of the wicked who's the wicked esau even the so-called white man preserve me from the violent man who have purpose to overthrow my goings okay verse five verse five the proud have hid a snare for me and cores they have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gains for me, Salah. I said unto the Lord, Yahweh, Yahshai, Thou art my power. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord, Yahweh, Yahshai. And the Lord is hearing the elect, man. Because, hey, we're crying, we're sighing and crying day and night for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. Like it tells you in uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. All right, said a mark upon the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of. And we're sighing and crying to the Heavenly Father to come rescue us, man. All right, his elect, okay? And hey, you know about Shemiel Shai? He's hearing us. He's hearing our prayers, okay? Verse 7, O power, the Lord, you know about Shemiel Shai, the strength of my salvation. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Verse 8, grant not, O Lord, you know about Shemiel Shai, the desires of the wicked. Further, not his wicked device, at least they exalt themselves in love. All right, so we're asking the Lord, how about Shinyal Shai? We're crying to the Lord, hey, further, not this devil's wicked device. And what's that wicked device? The NWO, all right, and where he wants to put a, a, a digital device in you, all right, a digital tag so he can track you and make you a permanent slave in his system. But it's all gonna come tonight. We all know two thirds are gonna take it. All right, because two thirds, <laughs> they ain't got you. How about some young shy? But hey, these devils are gonna lose, man. They're gonna lose bad. Verse nine: As for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Verse ten: <clears throat> Excuse me, slacking. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise not up again. All right, and that's what's going to eventually happen. And let's go to Job chapter 20. Because, hey, <laughs> when these devils think they're about to get their belly filled, man. All right. <laughs> it's over with. This, let's read this. All right. Let's roughly paraphrase. And I kind of butchered it. But let's read it anyway. Job 20 and verse 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. That word wicked, all right, means laborer. All these neighbors, the workers here in Babylon, 
Okay, these people are about to come up against Esau, man. Okay, come up against their government. Verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly, when he's about to sit down and think his new world order is complete, Yahweh shall cast the fear of his wrath upon him, and it shall rain upon him while he is eating. It's going to rain ICBM nuclear missiles, man. Okay? Verse 24. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. And that bow of steel represents the missiles. Okay? Verse 25. It is drawn and coming out of the body, yea, the glittering sword coming out of his skulls. Terrors, terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not thrown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. Verse 27. The heavens shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. He's being revealed through the men of the Lord, man. Okay? Like it tells you in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Esau is that wicked. All right? And the earth is about to rise up against him. These people are about to rise up. These nations are about to rise up against Esau. They already are at some level. But hey, it's about to, it's about to intensify. Okay? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to leave there. All right? Let's move on. <clears throat> let's see. What else we got here? Yeah, let's get this. This is Daniel's chapter 8, and let's see. I'm going to start verse 24. The point is in verse 25. I'm <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to read verse 24. And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. All right? And these devils, you know, they got power. All right? But it's not by their own power. All right? The Lord Yahweh Shemiah Shai is using these devils to do these things. All right? So, hey. When he does come back, they're going to be destroyed, okay? And he shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. And that's what Esau he was trying to do, man. All right, he's trying to destroy, all right? He's trying to, you know, make Israel to cease from existing, all right? Like it says, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's what they really want. These devils want. To get back that birthright, but it's not going to work, man. Verse 25, the point. And through his policies, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart, which is mean his mind. And by peace shall destroy many. All right? Promising you peace, but at the same time, going to destroy you, man. All right? With these wicked, unrighteous laws and unrighteous decrees and draconian measures. Okay? And he... He shall also stand up against the prince's princes, which is Yahweh Shai, but he shall be broken without hand. Yahweh Shai is going to destroy these devils, man. All right? And then, hey, after these devils are cast down from their rulership, they're going to go into a thousand years of captivity. They're going to serve a thousand years of captivity, and after they thousand years, they're going to be rounded up and burnt up, never to be seen and heard from again, man. Okay? So, hey. You devils better, hey, whatever you devils got to do, you better do it, man. All right, let's get this. This is Jeremiah 51 and verse 6. Flee ye out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity for this time, sorry, for this is the time of the Lord Yahweh Shemashah's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. America, Babylon the Great is about to be recompensed. All right, for the Lord's chosen, man. All right. So, hey, this place is about to be burned up. There is no saving this place. Okay. Verse 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord Yahweh by Shai's hand. That made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. These nations are mad. They're drunken all of the wine, the philosophies of this place. All right. And that's why these nations are about to come up against Babylon, the great America. Okay. Verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take on for a pain is so she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. So the sins of this place have reached into the ears of the Lord Yahabashim Yahshai. Yahabashim Yahshai is about to come back and do a number on this place, man. Okay? Let's move on. And these people here in Babylon, the Great America, 
They're about to come up against the government, man. This is what we're about to head into. Isaiah 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians. Actually, actually, let me start at verse 1. All right. Points in verse 2, but I'm going to start at verse 1. Isaiah 19, verse 1. The burden of Egypt. Egypt is talking about Babylon, the great America. It ain't talking about ancient Egypt. Okay? Because this place is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. All right? Revelations 11 and 8 tells you that. Okay? Isaiah 19 and verse 1. The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord Yahweh shall ride it upon a swift cloud. That swift cloud is the chariots. Okay? And shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt. In the midst of it, all right, how this place is gonna melt by thermal nuclear missiles, man. ICBM nuclear missiles, okay, like it tells you in uh, Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 10 through 12. All the elements are gonna be melted with fervor heat. And what can cause that to do that? The ICBM nuclear missiles, okay. Verse 2 And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. This is what's coming, man. Because, hey, like I say, these people are not going to go for this shit that's going on, man. Okay, somebody come in. Hey, America has done it. So, hey, America is about to reap exactly what it sold, man. America going into other nations and telling them what to do, setting up their wicked philosophies, their wicked government. All right, so hey, somebody's about to do the same thing in, in battle on the great America, but the difference, hey, these people ain't gonna go for it here. All right, all your rights about to be taken away from you, Americans, man. All right, your gun rights, everything. Okay, freedom of speech is about to be gone, which is gonna bring forth the famine of the word. Okay, so hey, we're in those times, man. We measure the times diligently. Okay, this is Second Israel chapter fifteen and verse fourteen. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in the hand. The modern day sword is the gun, but there's also going to people fighting with literal swords, man. Literal uh, swords, knives, hammers, whatever you name it, all right? Okay. Verse uh, 16 For there should be sedition among men and invading one another. Those seditions. Uprising, revolts against the government, against authority, all right, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. People are not going to regard the presidents, the uh, the who, all right, none of these things. These people are going to take matters into their own hands. They're going to fight against their own government, okay? Verse 17 A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Martial law. Okay, checkpoints where well, you won't be able to go from one city to the next, one state to the next. They're going to sh shut down these states, shut down these cities, block these cities off, block these states off from you where you can't go in or out. Okay, so hey, <laughs> these are the times we're about to enter into, man. So, you Israelites, man, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, you better repent before it's too late. Okay. Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, <clears throat> and men shall be afraid, men and women. All right, verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, you see what they're doing. They're rationing out the baby food, right, and you know, and I saw on uh, news last night where the baby food is really going, man. All right? They got baby food, right? but they rationing it out, okay? They got baby food, but they're rationing the shit out, man. I was in uh, Walmart yesterday, all right? And the shelves were empty. No baby food on the shelves. Literally, there's no baby food on the shelves, man. All right? And eventually, and pretty soon, that's going to be everything. The food, period. No food on the shelves. Alright? Little to no food on the shelves, man. Okay? So this place is through. Alright? Get your mind and detach yourself from Babylon, the great America, man. Okay? Detach your mind from this place. Because this place is about to get ready to get judged. Righteous judgment is coming to this place, man. And if, hey, and if 
if you ain't got the spirit of the Lord, you have about some side, you're gonna be a part of that judgment. You're gonna be a part of the things that is coming to this wicked ass queendom known as Babylon the Great America. Okay? Alright. <clears throat> it's good here. Alright. This is Daniel's twelve and one. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. <clears throat> and there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Okay? The book of life. The elect. Okay? Like I say, man, the only the elect are going to make it out of these times, man. Okay? Jacob's trouble. And Jacob's trouble is upon us. Okay? So, hey, final warning to you, Israelites, man. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and New Americans. You got two choices. You better repent or you're going to die here. Okay? So, hey, in the, hey, two-thirds of you are already going to die. Two-thirds of you are going to die from starvation. Two-thirds of you are going to eventually die when them ICBM nuclear missiles hit this place. And laser cherry being fired from the chairs of the morning. How about some young shine? So, hey, repent. Because the times that we're coming into ain't going to be no joke. Okay? All right, so I'm in the lesson here. I pray this quick lesson was edifying. All praises to you. How about Shemiel Al Shai, by Shemar Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Moonstone who were well. Peace, blessings, and salutations go to the whole for the that scattered abroad. Okay, keep watching, keep praying, watch for the prophecies. All right, because hey, we're almost out of here. We ain't got long for this place to be here. We ain't got long to be here. We almost out of here. All right, so keep watching. The prophecies, keep praying to Yahweh and Yahshai, fast, whatever it takes, man. Because, hey, we especially need to start fasting. Because, hey, the times that we're coming into, you might not have nothing to eat. But, like it tells you in Isaiah 65, verse 13 through 14, it says, His servants shall eat, drink, and rejoice, while two thirds are out here starving to death. So, we're not worried about that, man. And as a matter of fact, let me close another scripture. Close. Let me get. Actually, I'm already there. Let's get this, and I'm gonna close it out. Second Israel chapter two and verse twenty-seven, and it reads: Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have an abundance. So hey, the Lord's servants are gonna eat in that day, drink in that day, rejoice in that day. Hey, watching two thirds out here get jacked up. Okay. Like I say, it's time for you Israelites, man. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent before it's too late. Okay? So, Kwam Yasharala, Wild Baba Ball, about a one DTA, about a ball. Boom! All praises see. How about Shmiyal Shai, about Shmiyal Kakadash. Till next time, I say Shawan. Shawan.